And we're expecting um, traffic to increase uh, almost 50% in the next 25 years. And we look out that far when we, we put these projects together. That's because the finished project also takes years. District engineer Tucker Ferguson and his team at TxDOT came up with two proposals, or alternative two and three. After a public meeting in August, they made some tweaks to both. We take the frontage road in the northbound direction, cross it over, and bring that frontage road section to this side. The newly proposed changes include shifting parts of the frontage road, lowering freeway lanes, and adding new bike and pedestrian crossings. So here is one of the proposed changes. Right now we're at the I-35 frontage road and 4th Street, where, as you can see, cars have to stop every time the metro goes by. But someday it could look like this, where it goes up and over, crossing I-35. Here's a close-up view. Now, here's what it would look like with a cap. Caps and stitches play a major part in these proposals. Here is a real life visual. This is Clyde Warren Park in Dallas. A stitch is essentially a bridge. It can have a road or bike lanes, and a cap also connects both sides, but it's larger, often used as a park. So this provides us better mobility and connectivity throughout downtown and central Austin. That's why the city of Austin, Downtown Austin Alliance, and TxDOT are working together to come up with the extra funding needed for the caps. The rest is already accounted for in the $4.9 billion budget. At a meeting Tuesday evening, those plans were presented to the public and will eventually be analyzed by environmental and engineering teams before moving forward. Hopefully we can be under construction on some portion of this late 2024 or 2025.